Alright guys, so another update. Uh, I can clearly see that the salt has provided some results. It's uh, hour 29 and uh, what it is, it's uh, two hours, two hours after I added salt and I can already see which I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna start with Tenacious. It's CR13 MOV. Let me try to focus it. You can see little little rust marks. You see them there? So here on the spine too. Most of the uh, because of the oxidation, most of it is on the close to the, the the water level, which is understandable. You see this side has a nice nice amount. I hope you can see it in the video. It's hard to see on the phone now, but uh, it, we should you should see it pretty good. So that one I'm gonna pull out. Interesting, not bad actually. You no, know, two hours in the salt water after 27 hours in the in the clear water. That's not bad result. That's pretty good uh, rust retention. This has already proven to me that uh, most of the even the cheap even the cheap uh, stainless steels like HCR 13 MOV are very very rust resistant I mean come on guys to have the blade like that rust on you you really have to neglect the knife that's that's just my honest opinion uh, the cheap Gerber has little more rust than it had just a little while ago when I had uh, before the before the salt but I'm, this one I'm still gonna keep in I'm curious you know how bad it gets and how fast or how much bad what else is here the benchmate 9CR13 COMOV is only very small little one so I'm gonna keep that one also just for the heck of it I'm curious uh, Kershaw League 8CR13 MOV Looks good. What is it? There is uh, no really nothing. This one looks good, you know. Same steel as the tenacious, and another spot. Another interesting thing is yesterday when I tried the Pendleton, it had the spot, little rust spot on the edge, even after uh, twenty hours in the regular fresh water, and now after. 27 hours in the fresh water and 2 hours in the salt water there is again super small rust but even smaller than I had yesterday the same exact spot what I had the rust spot yesterday but it's super small it's nothing I'm still gonna keep it in you see just that proves that it, uh, it varies it's it's probably a lot of a lot of different factors but you know the the main the main some kind of data point is there uh, what else is here? Oh, this is interesting. Socks, flesh one and flesh two, OS eight steel has nothing. Super, like only little discoloration. One little spot is starting to forming up, but very minor, nothing. And uh, flesh one. Let me see. So, so yeah on the spine a little bit on the spine uh, can can we see it or can't uh, yeah you can see it there a little bit right right here is that little corner it's getting rust on I'm gonna pull this one out too no need to is this one any further? I really like this blade. Uh, the cheap stainless steel are holding up pretty good. The 440C has nothing, completely nothing on the edge, on the exposed edge. The rest of the blade has a coating on, but on the exposed edge, it's nothing also on the sign here, on the markings, really nothing there. So, gonna keep that one. Very interesting. Check this out guys, 
VG10. Where did I see that thing? Uh, it was the tip, I think. Yes. You can see, I don't know if you want the video, there is slight discoloration on the tip. You see it there? Um, I thought I saw something else before too. Not really. No, just a little bit on the tip. I'm gonna keep that one in. And let me see the zero tolerance, S30V. Very little, small discoloration on a one, one little spot on the edge, but other than that it's perfect. I don't think this one will be visible on the camera. It's, it's there somewhere, there was a little nothing, I'm gonna keep that one in a little bit. And uh, one more thing with the knives I have took out, I wanna test is maybe the edge retention because you know that the first thing that's gonna go is the thinnest pieces of the metal that's gonna suffer the most which is the edge uh, I'm gonna do this one on the regular paper cut mm, it's actually still very sharp it didn't go, go the edge very much That's good, so Tenacious has a little nice amount of rust, but still the edge is still very decent. And the same goes for the Flesh one. Flesh one has a less, less, uh, less rust spots, actually only one little bit on the spine, a very small one, but it does have so. But both edges are really still sharp, so it's still just the cosmetics of the blade, still just the... Just the surface rust, it will be very easy to remove. And uh, yeah, like I said, I think if, if your blade rusts on you, it's just a ne neglected steel. It's, you didn't take care of it at all, and uh, all it takes, even when you store it, all it takes is put a little bit of WD 40 or the rim oil, rem uh, and, uh, rim oil, and I never had the rust pad on my blades, and you can clearly see that they can take a lot of water for a long time so it's gotta be just a ne neglected blade if you if they rust on you uh, so i shall see you soon take care guys